in this video session we're going to learn how to use PISAs to explain ratios in basic mathematics you can have a big pizza to eat all alone or a small pizza to share with friends but before you start enjoying your pizza it is always recommended to slice them in fractions like this or like this rather than trying to eat them all as a whole there are different ways people slice pizzas some are even more complex but the best is keeping the slice as simple as possible this makes sharing a lot more easy this way of slicing pizzas also helps in explaining ratio problems in mathematics next we're going to slice pizzas into fractions to help us to explain ratios next if we slice this pizza into three parts each part is one over three and this part is one over three likewise this part is one over three and this is considered as part to whole but if i consider only one part of this pizza against this remaining part in ratio this is one to ratio this is two this is considered as part to part because i did not mention three in the comparison when you compare a part of an item to the other remaining parts it is part to part here we are comparing parts of the pizza which probably has been removed against the two remaining parts we call this part to part ratio for the complete video course on this subject click the link in the description or in the pinned comment section but if i want to compare this removed part of the pizza to the entire fraction that will become part to whole this removed pizza part becomes one over three while the remaining part of the pizza becomes two over three this is one to ratio three and this is two to ratio three in the ratio form while this can also be written as one to ratio two this one came first because we are considering this part of the portion that was removed first if the part that was remaining was mentioned first then this will become two to ratio one always consider the name that came first next if you slice this pizza into four parts this each is one to ratio four one to ratio four and this is one to ratio four this is also one to ratio four for each separate part of the pizza but if i want to compare this remaining portion of the pizza against this part of the pizza already removed this will be three to ratio one here three is remaining while one has been taken away that is the remaining part of the pizza to the ratio of the part that was eaten but if i consider the part that was eaten against the remaining portion of the pizza that will become one to ratio three and this is part to part we are considering the part that was eaten against the part that is remaining but if i want to consider the part that was eaten with respect to the entire sliced pizza this will become one 
to ratio 4, which is this. And if I want to consider the remaining part of the pizza after this was eaten, that will become 3 to ratio 4. This, we can write it 3 to ratio 4. In addition, if I slice this pizza into this equal part, then these two portions will become 1 plus 1. We're going to have 2 to ratio 4. 2 to ratio 4 is equivalent to 1 to ratio 2. This is very important in the analysis of ratio using PISA. If you find this video helpful, please click the like button. Also, subscribe for more videos like this. I will see you in the next video.